What up, Fight Fans? This is Square Circle Productions. I'm going with my new rant. <clears throat> this one is called Shane Mosley's Return to the Ring. <clears throat> okay, y'all. Uh, uh, in addition to this uh, heavyweight fight this weekend with between um, Anthony Joshua and Dillian White, um, I was surprised to see that um, Shane Mosley will be fighting on the undercard. Okay, um, I'm really looking forward to this. I thought that was a breath of fresh air. I like things like that, man. To be honest with you, um, I do tend to uh, pull for the OGs and stuff. I'm a little partial to them. Um, but um, again, before I get all the way into the rent, I want to revisit um, a theme from the previous two rants, okay? And I'm talking about the evolution of boxing, okay? Uh, and with that idea, the first one I spoke about was the evolution of the the boxer or the fighter is um, the modern day fighter is being trained as a, a high level athlete as opposed to just a fighter. So you're going to see way more skilled, uh, more athletic uh, guys coming into the game, you know. So a lot of the blood and guts and stuff that you the people are used to seeing or whatever, you're not going to see so much of, you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to see, see guys, man, really trying to protect themselves better and be more on the offensive, you know, and things of that nature. And it's going to really be some chess matches with uh, chess matches with guys. But um, anyway, um, I talked about that. I talked about the evolution of boxing from the standpoint of um, competitiveness, uh, friends, where you, where normally people might not draw the, or might draw the line in the past. They probably won't draw those lines anymore. So you will see friends fight in, in the case of um, – Daniel Jacobs and Peter Quillen. You you may possibly even see brothers fight. You know you understand what I'm trying to say. Things of this nature is going to start happening, and they will probably be some very competitive um, fights. You know what I'm saying? Especially if the title's on the line. You know what I'm saying? I honestly tell you the truth. I don't even care to see nothing like that unless something major's on the line, like a title. But um, anyway, this is part three of the evolution of boxing um, in the sense that. Uh, Returning veterans, um, you know, uh, you're going to – returning veterans and the average, the length of careers, um, you will see fighters fight well into their 50s. I mean, once Bernard Hopkins broke that 50-year-old barrier, you know what I'm saying, and, and was still winning titles at 47 and 48, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, it's just going to push further. So, again, like I said, I am pulling for guys like – Shane Mosley. I am pulling for guys like uh, Shannon Briggs. I am pulling for guys like uh, Bernard Hopkins. And there's going to be more coming to the ranks. Now on the flip side of that, you're going to see a lot of guys with shorter careers too. Not because of punishment and damage, but just simply because they got other options. You know, some guys might only fight seven years and then flip that into something else. And there's nothing wrong with that. So you'll have both sides of the coin uh, to actually... Uh, look at. Okay, so as much as I like to see Sugar Shane Mosley get in there and, and win and do real good, I mean, if he's in it just for the money, it's going to show because my second point is, is the odds are stacked against him. I mean, he's got guys like Keith Thurman, Kell Brook, Timothy Bradley, Amir Khan, Jesse Vargas, Sean Porter, Lamont Peterson, Danny Garcia, Errol Spence Jr. Do you see this guy running the tables on those guys? I really can't honestly say that it won't. But, hey, that's the whole excitement of it. Maybe he can knock out three or four of them. Maybe he can upset a champion. Maybe he can knock a contender out. I mean, there's a lot of different things. He does have the the, the knowledge and the ring gentlemanship to handle himself and at least protect himself and not get hurt too bad out there. But, anyway, I'm, I'm very interested in seeing how this is going to turn out. Also, I want to give a shout-out to the YouTube bodybuilding community. I want to say... Rest in peace to Leroy Colbert. I was saddened to hear that um, he passed away here right before Thanksgiving. So, man, um, they lost a great one. You know, as far as I know, he was the oldest YouTuber out there um, at 82. So, uh, anyway, man, uh, you had a great career and everything. First man with 21-inch biceps, you know, 21-inch 21 21 inch arms. Hey, man. Rest in peace, man. I learned a lot from you while you were on YouTube, man. And, and I encourage anybody to go back and look him up and watch some of his videos. Uh, it's on a channel called Mr. Yorkie Lover Fitness. Okay, once again, that's Mr. Yorkie Lover Fitness. Look up Leroy Colbert. 
All right. Peace out. One love.